Hi, welcome to Kiwi Care, the most simple and affordable self-hosted EHR solution for clinics and private practices. And in this video, we are going to see one of the new updates that we have added in Kiwi Care, and that new update is import-export data records. So, what this update exactly do is when you are shifting to Kiwi Care EHR solution and you have some kind of old records for the patient, doctor, or the services, so you can just create their Excel or CSV file format and you can directly import it into our KiwiCare data or you can also export your data which is available in the KiwiCare. So let's see how to import your previous data into KiwiCare system. So we are on to our admin dashboard and we are in the patient section and on the top you can see we have added one more button which is import data. You can just simply click on it and this kind of pop-up will come up in which first thing you can see is select the type. So for now, we have given two different types of file format, which is CSV and Excel sheet. And below that, you can see we have written this click here to download sample file. This is a sample file. If you are just trying a demo or exploring this feature, you can download a sample from here. And below that, you can see we have written some mandatory needed fields that you required if you want to export your data into CSV file. So for that, you need your patient's first name, last name, email, contact, gender. These fields are mandatory required in your file to export it into our system or else it won't get export. So below that you can see there is one more option that is sending the notification to your users when they are registered. In KiwiCare we have added this system when the user is registered at that same time they will get the notification if you are enabling this that they are added to your clinic. So you can just select them but there is one caution which is when you select these two options this process of importing your data will take some time because it is working simultaneously right so you can just select it if you want and now we will choose the file for our uploading so after that we will download a sample as we are just trying it and we will click on choose file and we will select our file you can upload that file or you can just directly select from the media library so we have this patient CSV, we will just choose this file and our file has been chosen, we will click on save and now this pop-up will come up in which you can see the total row that was in your data and the amount of rows that are inserted in the data. This is very useful to know that how much amount of data has been added or not added. So you can see it and you can just close it from here. And in the patient, you can see our demo patient has been added in the clinic. Now we will go into a doctor session and here is the same import data button. We will just click on it and then you have to select the type format. And we also have a sample for the doctors too. The change that you can see is the required fields for the doctors. So this required field will change according to the role that you are selecting like the doctor, patient or receptionist. So you have to check this required field first before creating your CSV or Excel sheet. So you can just do other things similarly like we have done in the patient. You can select the notification if you want them. Then you can choose a file. So we will select our downloaded file from the upload section and we will just add it into the system and you will just click on save and it will take some time according to the data and the doctor has been added you might be thinking why only one doctor is been adding so we have added only one data for the trial of our system now you can see our doctor has been added with their email our doctor is doctor one so this is how you can also add the receptionist i'm not showing it to you you can just click on input data and add a receptionist records too now let's move to this service. I am showing you how to add a service because there are some extra steps that you have to do in the service. Now we will click on import data and we will download the sample from here. And then we will close this pop-up and we will go into the doctors. And you can see this is the ID of the doctor that we have added in the system. So the extra step that I was talking about was you have to add the doctor ID to whom this service needs to be connected in your Excel sheet. So we will go into our Excel and you can see uh, there is the doctor ID available in the Excel. And this is the great example you can see for your CSV or Excel that you have to create for the importing 
this is how it will be looking and now we will go back and you can see these are the IDs of your doctor that we have in the system so you can select whichever doctor you want and just copy their ID and paste it here just replace it with the doctor ID and save this excel sheet I tried to replace this file but it was not happening so I am just creating a new excel sheet you can replace it too if you want now we will go back into our services and we will click on import data and now we will choose the file that we have saved right now so we'll just go into upload and select it file first and i will just click on save and you can see that our service has been imported from the system and this is our service which was tooth cleaning up which is added to doctor one as we have given the id of the doctor one but if you want to attach this service to another doctor you can give that id too so this is how you can import your previous records in the kiwi care system and you can also export them in the csv or any other format you want you saw it was so easy to import your previous data it will just remove your hassle about writing the every data or the detail of the patient manually. So you can just try the KiwiCare demo and get it now.